want to see also that if we're going to talk about the Holy Spirit, we've got to understand that part of this thing has to do with Him tabernacling in our lives, in our bodies. And these bodies are to be holy. These bodies are to be set apart for God. It is not yours, amen? Maybe some of us need to be praying about what we're putting into our bodies. Maybe some of us need to step back and ask the Holy Ghost how much time we're putting into our bodies and whether that's acceptable. Maybe some of us ought to step back and ask the Holy Ghost what we're covering these bodies with and if that's acceptable. Now we can set up, we can set up all kinds of rules, right? And we can set up rules on, on what we perceive to be modesty and how we should dress. And, and we can set up rules that would say, okay, if we're going to be masters of eternal things and we've got to be temperate in all others, and so we'll set a time limit on how much I can do this and how much. We're talking about walking in the Spirit, amen? We're talking about glorifying God. We're talking about being consumed with what is the will of God. Can I hear the Holy Ghost? Would I even know if he was telling me to deviate, to change something? Can I ask another question? When's the last time you've heard his voice? Now, you know, we've heard a lot of teaching and biblical correct teaching that we must, beloved, hear the voice of God in our counselors. Amen? But I want to add to that for us tonight because we've been emphasizing that a lot. You must hear the voice of God in your counselors. But you must hear the voice of God. You won't know it in your counselors if you don't have that quiet time and know what that voice is.